In this video, we're going to be looking at the relationship between angles subtended from the same arc at the center and circumference of a circle. So you can see that we have a circle here, and this blue bit is called an arc, which is just a portion of the circle's circumference. Now an arc can define an angle at the center of a circle when these two ends are joined up at the center, just like this. Now an arc can also define another point on the circumference when these two ends are joined up at a point on the circumference, like this. Now the really cool thing about this point is that no matter where you move it along the circumference, the angle is still the same size. If we increase the size of the arc, the sizes of both angles also increase. And if we decrease the size of the arc, the sizes of both angles decrease. So what we're going to do is prove that this angle here, subtended at the center of a circle, is always exactly double the size of the angle subtended at the circumference of a circle when both angles are subtended by the same arc. So the first thing we've got to do in this proof is label these two angles. So we'll call this one S for small and this one B for big because this angle is bigger than this one. Now the next thing we've got to do is split this funny looking shape that kind of looks like the Star Trek symbol into two triangles by drawing a line through the middle. Just like this. And because we split the shape up into two triangles, we've got to split these angles up too. So we'll just get rid of these labels for now. Later on we will have them as S and B, but for now we'll relabel them. So now we've got S1 S2, B1, and B2. Now something that my teacher told me to do when I was first learning about circle proofs is just to look at the shape and see if you can recognize anything about it at all. Even if it's something really small because that will get the process started and you'll be able to find out more things about the triangle. So for example, these two side lengths happen to be the exact same size. We know this because they both start at the center and end at the circumference, which just means that they're both radii and therefore the same size. Now the fact that this triangle has two side lengths that are the same also means that it's an isosceles triangle. And in an isosceles triangle, the angles opposite these two side lengths are also the same size. So this angle can now also be called S1. Now we really should label this angle as well. So we'll call this one alpha. Another thing we know about triangles is that all of these angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So now we can actually start writing out some equations. So S1 plus S1 again, which is just 2S1 plus alpha equals 180 degrees. Now if we come back to this shape, we can actually write up another equation because the angle of a straight line is 180 degrees. So alpha plus B1 equals 180 degrees. Now if we take a look at these equations, we can see that they are simultaneous and that we can solve them through substitution because they both equal 180 degrees. So we then get the equation 2S1 plus alpha equals alpha plus B1. Now if we take a look at our new equation, we can see that both sides have alpha. So we can take alpha from both sides and then we get the equation 2S1 equals B1. And we'll just draw a square around all of that. Now if we repeat all the steps we did here on this triangle over here, we get a very similar equation of 2S2 equals B2. Now what we have to do now is bring back the old labels of S and B. And if we take a look at B, we can see that it equals B1 plus B2. So we can write that equation down. Now if you look at all the work we've done, you can see that we've got B1 and B2 here already. So we can substitute these values in the new equation and we get B equals 2S1 plus 2S2. We can also simplify this equation by putting the 2 out the front. Now if we take a look at S, we can see that it equals S1 
plus s2. So we can write that equation down too. Now if we look at this equation here, we can actually substitute it in this equation up here. And in doing so, we get b equals 2s. So we have therefore successfully proven that an angle subtended at the centre of a circle is always double the size of an angle subtended by the same arc at the circumference of a circle.